Hey Internet, today's episode of DCTV is going to be scary, fast, and electric. Because we're talking about iZombie, The Flash, and Black Lightning on DCTV. First up tonight, Monday night, on a brand new episode of iZombie, here's what's going down. Liv has eaten the brains of a hopeless romantic. Aw, it's gonna be real sweet. Oh yeah, except complications arise when we have guest star actor Sam Huntington, who DC fans may know as Jimmy Olsen from Superman Returns. Sam Huntington, what's up man? He plays the online boyfriend of the woman who Liv just ate the brains of. So Liv's coming on a little too strong, Liv. Back it up, Liv, all right? Back it up. Leave some Sam for the rest of us, yikes. Plus, the gang is looking to party at the local scratching post when they're throwing a human zombie night, which just means that a DJ is trying to exploit the fragile state of human zombie relations. Nonetheless, that's an excuse to party. But the only problem is, is that Ravi has nothing to wear. You know what that means? That's right, baby. One word. Three syllables, two words kind of put together. Makeover, yeah, Robbie's getting a makeover. Makeover, 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 makeover. One of his looks, unfortunately, is not just buck ass naked. And I wish it was because Ro Coley's still looking good hitting that gym, brother. Mmm, yeah, dude. What's up? Hit me back on Twitter, Raul, or not, whatever. You're busy playing video games and being an awesome actor. Anyway, that's what's happening on iZombie tonight. Watch it, it's scary good. And tomorrow night, on Tuesday, on a brand new episode of The Flash. Yep, mm-hmm. Some people watch right now, they're already nodding their heads because they know what's a coming this week. We've been waiting for it, we've seen the pictures. It is time to finally watch the episode entitled Run, Iris, Run. Yes, Iris West gets powers all of her own. I'm not gonna tell you how this happens, but she gets Barry Allen's powers somehow. You're gonna have to watch the episode to find out, which means she also gets her own suit. Look at this bad boy, woo! That is clean, baby. I would wear that to the gym. Mm, looking good, Candace. All right, so here's what's going down. Iris has got powers, and it's a bit of a learning curve for her, not gonna lie. But it's also a bit of a learning curve for Barry Allen because he is powerless, which means he, I guess, is now team leader, which means you're on comms, I guess, Barry. Get over to the monitor, bud. Fix your chair, Bear. Fix your chair, Bear. Fix your chair, Bear. Fix it. It's not easy for him either, man. He's so used to being the Flash. Okay, and this whole team dynamic thing, they're trying to figure this thing out because they're fighting the thinker, right? So Harry Wells figures out that, you know what? Maybe the way to defeat the thinker is to outthink the thinker. So that's what he's dealing with tomorrow night. And we also learned from Harry that mad science is an area of study, not a degree. You cannot major in mad science. You just have to sort of kind of dabble in it whilst getting your degree. Okay, but no, look, here's what's going down. Iris suiting up, having powers, Perfect excuse to give you guys this comic book connection. I wanna throw your way The Flash Volume 4 Reverse. Yes, the fourth volume in the New 52 rebooted Flash series in which Barry Allen is dealing with a speed force killer that leads him to one of his deadliest enemies yet, the Reverse Flash. Mm, but then before then, he has to meet and deal with the mysterious Kid Flash and the Teen Titans. He has no idea who the Kid Flash is at this point, which is very, very exciting. Plus, my favorite part in this volume, earlier in the series, Iris West and some people were exposed to the Speed Force, and then when they came out of it, they realized they had powers. And you know what that means? That's right, baby. Iris West is suiting up, but in the comic books, her costume does not look like the CW show costume, but instead is definitely inspired by that classic Flash look, the reds, the golds. It's gorgeous, it's so cool. Speaking of gorgeous, look at Francis Menopal's art, come on. It don't get no better than that, people, come on. Look at that, Barry Allen, Iris West, running super speed all the way to the Utah Salt Flats. Mmm, I love it, I love this volume, so go check out The Flash, Volume 4 Reverse, and don't be a sucker and miss tomorrow night's brand new episode of The Flash, where we finally get to see Iris West run. My name is Iris West, and it's about time. Zip, suit up, oh, yeah, get it, girl. Mm. And tomorrow night, on a brand new episode of Black Lightning, it's training day, y'all. Yeah, that's right, daddy-daughter training. Anissa Pierce is undergoing training from her pops, Black Lightning, which means everybody was kung fu fighting, and their kicks were fast as, I don't even have to finish it. You guys know what I was gonna say, that's the joke. I don't even have to do it, all right? But why are they teaming up? Well, Jefferson Pierce is accepting help from his daughter, Anissa, because they're trying to find information to clear Black Lightning's name because he was framed for the murder of Lady Eve. Come on, man. 
only a couple episodes into this new show and this is already going down like this, are you kidding me? Oh, but it's so good to see dad and daughter working together. Meanwhile, Gamby finds himself in a precarious situation and you know this, he's just as stubborn as Jefferson. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho boy. Speaking of stubborn, let's go back to Anissa for a second. Anissa Pierce is such a great character. Problem is she might not know her own strength in tomorrow night's episode. And because this is such an Anissa-centric episode, I have been waiting to give you guys this comic book connection. One of my favorite series of all time, I'm looking at 2003's The Outsiders, issue number one, technically volume three of The Outsiders franchise. Guys, I'm gonna give you a Hector guarantee. If you read this first issue, you will be hooked, I promise you. And right now, while I'm speaking, you can open up another tab and find it online and read the comic book right now. You can experience what I'm about to describe because it's so dope. Okay, here's the story. There has been some tragedy that has befallen the group. Namely, there's been a funeral for the death of Donna Troy, AKA the original Wonder Girl. So, some original OG members of the Teen Titans, including Arsenal and Nightwing, decide, you know what, we may have to do things a little bit differently because our loved ones, our families, keep dying and it's tragic, right? So Roy thinks to himself, what if we put a team together that's not a family, but just very, very, very capable heroes. So this first issue is one of my favorite gather the superhero team members issues. You have got a super powered bouncer, Grace. You've got Metamorpho, Rex Mason, one of my favorite characters. You've got Indigo, the young robot girl that was responsible for the death of Donna Troy herself, trying to atone for her past sins. And the very first full comic book appearance of Anissa Pierce, AKA Thunder, and she is awesome. And in this world, Black Lightning, her dad does not want her to maybe be a superhero, right? She couldn't do it until she graduated college, so she suits up the day after she gets her degree because she wants it that badly. But Roy Harper thinks to himself, you know what, your dad might appreciate it more if you had a team to back you up. So that's why Thunder's on the team. And all this happens in that first issue. And you know what else happens at the end of that first issue? Gorilla Grodd, oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Are you for real? This is bananas, you guys. See what I did there? All right, so look, like I said, Hector Guarantee read Outsiders, volume three, issue number one. You're gonna love this series. It went from 2003 to 2007. And for the love of Grodd, do not miss tomorrow night's brand new episode of Black Lightning. And here's the rest of your DC TV lineup for the week. Brand new episodes tonight on Monday of Lucifer and Legends of Manana. And later this week on Thursday night, a brand new episode of Gotham. What more could you want? And it's time for everyone's favorite segment, questions and answers. I'm workshopping the theme song. All right. Last week, we asked you guys to give us your best dad jokes related to DC TV characters and worlds. And you guys wrote some stuff down, and now I'm about to read some stuff. Here we go. Andrew, Mar I feel like I just should be stand up like this. <laughs> is this thing on? Andrew Martin says, Dad joke, what is Cisco's favorite song? Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys, of course. <laughs> uh, I wish I could sing it. We do not have the rights. Hmm. Jordan Valdez, my homie Jordan Valdez, thank you so much for all of your comments, literally every week. Jordan, you're the best. Says, not sure who came up with this one, but a friend sent it to me. Robin, you didn't name everything in the bathroom after you too, did you? Batman, of course not. Robin, Batman, okay yes, there's bat shampoo. Robin, Batman, but there's also conditioner Gordon. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right. Cobalt A3 says, William, Dad, help, I'm in danger. Oliver, hi, in danger, I'm Dad. William calls the Flash for help and never talks to Oliver again. <laughs> He's got that backpack. Thank you. Thank you, live studio audience of one guy, all right? <laughs> he liked that one. O-Dog McGee, he's got a good one. Nate Haywood, Ray, I'm shrinking. You have to do something about it quickly. Ray Palmer, take it easy. You'll just have to be a little patient. Christina Colucci says, how many Cape Crusaders does it take to change a light bulb? None, they like the dark. All right, Christina, not gonna lie, not your best, but we'll accept it. Thank you so much for the comment, okay. Blavis50 says, how does Batman's mom call him for dinner? Dinner, 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 Batman. That's a good one. That's a real good one. I heard a snortle, a kerfuffle right over there. All right, we got it. 
Hector always gets me excited for the DC shows each week. Thanks for the best previews. That's not a dad joke, but you know what? I really, really love that comment. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And it brings us to our next question of the week for next week, guys. Okay, here we go. This week we see Iris West finally suit up. We see Ravi get a makeover, get some new looks. So guys, which DC TV character from any DC TV show would you want to see get their very own makeover? Let us know in the comments below. My pick is Martian Manhunter, because it'd be real easy. I just have to show him a picture of a human and he'd be like, mm, got it, done. Shapeshifting, baby, easy. Let us know. And that's the agenda for the week, guys. But remember, the fun doesn't have to end when the episodes are over. Just head over to DCComics.com for those full episode recaps from our friends at the hashtag DCTV Couch Club. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.